In the United States today, an estimated 5.3 million people are living with Alzheimer's, a debilitating disease that keeps them from remembering their children's names and where they live, that ultimately takes away the ability to speak and walk. That number will climb to 7.7 million by 2030 and could as much as triple by 2050, posing particular risks to African American and Hispanic communities. Deaths from Alzheimer's continue to increase while other major diseases like stroke, HIV, and cancer decline. At the Alzheimer's Association, these numbers serve as our challenge. We see these devastating trends and are determined to change them, moving tirelessly towards our promise to you, a world without Alzheimer's. Through World Alzheimer's Day, where people around the globe take action to raise awareness through events like the culmination of our first ever Alzheimer's Breakthrough Ride, where Alzheimer's researchers cycled over 4,500 miles across the country, collecting over 110,000 signatures, petitioning Congress to make Alzheimer's disease a national priority. The annual Alzheimer's Association International Conference on Alzheimer's Disease, the world's largest gathering of Alzheimer's researchers. And Memory Walk, which continues to grow each year. Through programs like Trial Match, a free confidential service that connects those seeking clinical trials with studies in their area and comfort zone. The first comprehensive location management service specifically for people with Alzheimer's. Through efforts like our robust support system, offering the only 24-hour helpline for Alzheimer's disease and message boards for those with the disease and the 11 million Alzheimer caregivers in the United States. Through more than 70 chapters across the country that facilitate more than 4,800 support groups and deliver 20,000 educational programs annually as well as one-on-one -on -one family consultations. In our online research center, a demonstration of the association's role in research advances. And of course, through our work in Washington with Congress, President Obama, and Commissioner Michael Astru on the Compassionate Allowance Initiative that gives those with the disease expedited access to Social Security insurance and supplemental security income and with our tireless advocates who email, call, and visit their members of Congress. It's through measures like these that the Alzheimer's Association is able to gain the public support we need to make a difference in the lives of the families living with this disease. Well, um, I didn't realize it at the time, um, although my family did and friends did and colleagues did, but I was starting to slip. Everybody just thought I was tired. But like I said, since I had seen my mother and my brother go through this process, I knew something was wrong. We got involved with the Alzheimer's Association. I'm now on the board of the Western North Carolina Alzheimer's Association along with my husband. And I knew about the Alzheimer's Association, and so I knew that they could give me some direction. By becoming involved, uh, you feel like you're taking action and, uh, and making a difference. It is such a triumph when you say, I'm not afraid of that anymore. Every 70 seconds, someone in the United States develops Alzheimer's disease. If we don't do something to stop this, someone will develop Alzheimer's every 33 seconds by 2050. Act now. Join the fight against Alzheimer's. We can move a nation. Become an advocate in the fight against Alzheimer's. We have the opportunity to change the impact of the disease if we act now. Please join me and the Alzheimer's Association in the fight against this devastating disease. Visit ALZ.org to learn more. Every one of us has a voice, and together we can use our voices to move our cause forward. Today, we can use our voices to make an impact, to serve those affected, to find a cure, to keep our promise.